Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I will be showing you a fairly new thing, new model I designed. This is from a 12 inch square. This one's from a 6 and maybe 6 and a quarter inch square. This is my gift cube. It's a one piece gift box. This is color change part on the top. You unlatch it and you can open it up like so. And you can reclose it just like that. This is the gift cube. This is a gift box. This one actually has quite a bit of pre-creasing. This is a, from a 12 inch square. We're going to use a 6 inch square. First you want to divide into thirds. So the way I like to do it is I take my paper like this. Make an S shape and line up the corners. To the corners, to the edges, and pinch. And now we're going to actually have the colored side up this time and we're going to fold our thirds with the colored side up, and you'll see why later. This is so we don't have to be reversing creases as we're folding. Now we'll unfold it. Keeping the colored side up, I'm going to fold it diagonally. Make sure my creases are nice and sharp. This will make it easier to fold it in thirds the other way. Now we just line up this edge paper of the paper to the crease. And then you'll have your thirds. Now we're going to divide this 3x3 three three grid into a 6x6 six six grid. We're going to keep it this same direction and we're going to fold in half, unfold, fold this edge to the third crease. Here's our third crease for that one, this edge to the third crease. We divided our paper into sixths. Now we rotate it sideways and do the same, fold in half. Unfold, fold this to the crease, and then rotate, fold this to the crease. Now we have a 6x6 six six grid. Now we're going to make the box. So we're going to turn it over so now the white side is facing up. And we're going to take this corner and fold it up to this. You can see there's one unit here. We're going to fold it right up to there. So we're going to fold this up to the corner and crease all the way through. Now we're going to unfold and fold this corner to the center and then like that. We're going to rotate it to the next corner the same. Fold this corner up to this one-sixth mark, crease all the way through, unfold and fold to the middle of the square and unfold. Next side, corner to the sixth, so, that, so you have basically one sixth of our paper here is where this corner goes. I'm going to unfold that and pull to the middle. Unfold and last one corner to this crease right here. Crease through, unfold and crease, fold to the center and crease. And now this is pretty much our crease pattern for our box. Now to make the box we're going to turn this so we have the brown side, the colored side, it's just like a brown paper, up. And if you look here, we have this square in the middle is the bottom of our box. These four squares that sort of form a cross in the middle are going to be the sides of the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick, take one of these side squares, so I'm going to go with this one, and we're going to take the middle here, and you can see the crease. We're going to flatten on the creases, pinch this down, do like what's called a rabbit ear fold, and fold this to one side and pinch very tightly. So there's one side, but now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, turn it like this, this paper here and we're just going to sort of tuck it underneath, inside, like that. And that's going to be one corner, one side of our box. And now that we're just going to kind of leave like that. Now we're going to you can see the next square right here. Pinch it. Fold it in, make a rabbit ear fold and take this this paper here and fold it inside of there. So it's just like the other one, you can see how they fold inside. Then, we're, then you can see our next side is right here waiting for us. The next square right here. Here's the next flap. 
do a, just move this guy out of the way for a sec so you can see, a rabbit ear fold. Make sure you line up this edge with this edge here. And take this and push inside. Make sure it doesn't get crinkled at the bottom. There we go. And pinch well. And here's the last one. We'll kind of let these kind of open up for a bit here. And there's our side and here. Pinch here. Fold it flat to make sure they go all the same direction. Whichever direction you're going to go, I'm going to go this way. Pinch really well in the middle, the rabbit ear. And then this last piece you're going to fold inside here. Wraps around there, sort of. And now we're just going to sort of push this together. And sort of push it together. And you can see how our box is taking shape. Our gift cube will stay together. Now when you go like this, you have this little pinwheel shape on the top. And now we're, you're going to see here, if we fold this down along the edge, you can see this little flap pocket here. You can tuck it inside the next one. Tuck it inside the flap. The next one, fold it over, tuck it inside like that. And the last one, fold it over, and you can see, turn it like this so you can see where we tuck in right in there. And that closes the gift box. And so as you can see, our gift cube, as I call it, because you can see it's pretty much a perfect cube shape, yet it's actually a box, is complete. And you have this nice color change on the top. And to open it up, you just sort of grab, hold it like this on these flaps and pull, and it undoes the flaps. And then you just take any two and just pull apart. And it sort of unfolds. And you can put whatever you'd like inside and then simply push this together. It'll, it'll, if you leave it closed for a while, it'll actually reclose a lot easier. The first few opens and closing might be a little trickier. And then you just, again, retuck or reinsert flaps into their respective pockets. And that closes and locks the gift cube. So that's a new design I came up with. I hope you enjoy making this. It uh, was a little bit trickier, but not too difficult. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.